So do not be naive and ignorant in thinking that because you live in America, this wouldn't happen. At the end of the day, when this violence kicks off, human beings turn into chimpanzees. It's the reality of it, okay? So do not be fooled into thinking that you are safe from this, all right? This isn't to scare you. This is to prepare you, all right? Um, right, so once that event's exploded in a singular location, right, you're going to see what? Riots and protests break out, especially in urban areas all over the country, right? And you might see this tinderbox event, boom, starts to flare up and the whole country is enveloped, all right? That's one scenario, okay? The other scenario that I foresee is uh, terrorist attacks. And by that, I mean set up terrorist attacks, right? So I think a very likely scenario um, of something happening is something like a black church in the South is gonna be hit with a truck bomb. Hundreds or thousands of people are gonna be killed. They'll blame it on a far right extremist Trump supporter. The left will come out in massive protests. The right's gonna be pissed off, come out, counter protest, protest hits, boom, that can set the ignite off, right? That's how it's gonna look, I think. Um, and it's the most likely way it's gonna work. These, these things happen with sort of an atomic bomb. A singular atom splits and it explodes from there. All right, so let's be very clear. Um, the last thing any of you want is civil war. I hear people talking about this all the time. Oh, civil war and this and that. And uh, guys, war is ugly. Uh, I've, I've done it myself. None of you want it. None of you are ready for it. Um, at the end of the day, it's not cool. It's not gonna be like the movies in Hollywood, okay? Um, and to the right, who I always hear say, oh, you know, one side has all the guns and the other side can't figure out which bathroom to use. Okay, true. However, that's not how civil wars work, right? When a real civil war or collapse happens in America, it is not going to just be right versus left. Why? Because after probably about the first 72 hours, okay, all the foreign nations, sleeper cells, which are here, okay, China, Russia, Iran, all of them, are gonna get activated, and those foreign countries are gonna come and be involved as well, okay? And which side, I know the right's super confident, which side do you think China is going to jump in on? Which side do you think Russia is gonna jump in on? They're gonna jump in on the side of the socialists and the communists, right? Why? Because they know they'll be able to collapse the country, and the best thing that could happen in the world for these countries is for America to completely collapse, okay? So do not think as a right-wing conservative, you are going to have the advantage in an actual civil war. It is not going to just be like the first civil war, okay? Understand that. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be complicated. It's going to be chaos. If it gets to that point, it's bad news, guys. You do not want to, none of us want to live through it.